Hi guys, Nixit here today, bringing you another non-gameplay commentary. Uh, similar to the last one, I'm going to give you one more tutorial here on how to edit some XML files in 7 Days to Die. So in that last one, we covered editing random world generations XML to make it infinite so that you can run in any direction as far as you'd like. Now, here's our next problem that I ran into as I've been testing and playing the game as a server. The coding for the hordes uh, basically dies out after day 49. So if you want to host a game all the way past day you know, 49, 50 plus, you're going to want to edit some coding. Luckily, you have me here to help you with that, and I'll be glad to help walk some people through that. So let's do that uh, currently and see what we can find out. And don't mind the fact that I said that too many times. Okay, here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up back to our Steam folder. If you remember where all this is at or already know, feel free to go ahead and you know get there right away. Mine's in my F drive. Yours might be somewhere else, depending on where you have your Steam folder. Once you're there, you're going to want to go ahead and open your Steam apps. Common. From common, seven days to die, seven days to die to data, and data to config to enter those XML files. And what we're going to mess with today is actually going to be spawning.xml. Now, if we go and open that with Notepad++, again, you'll be greeted with this wonderful and beautiful coding. Luckily, most of the XML files are commented out correctly so that you know exactly what's happening. Now, to make this easy for you, uh, instead of reading through, because if you change too many things, your spawns might be messed up completely. There might be zombies everywhere or zombies nowhere. What I would do is hit Control F or your Find key, uh, you know, whatever opens up Finding. If you're going to be playing on Mac or something different, I don't know if this game has Mac, but support. Anyway, once you have your Find key open, just type 49. We know for a fact that I'm pretty sure that uh, 49... Well, I know for a fact 49 is the last day they coded in by default of the hordes. And I think it's the only 49 in the game. XML file. So if we just hit find next, we should only come up with one. And what that is under, if you are curious, if we go up to the top of it, is Entity Spawner, Night Horde, Dynamic True Wrap. These are the feral hordes who will find the player for sure. Now, you can see there's days set up for 7. There's days for 14. There's days for 24, 28, 35, 42, 49. All of those are perfectly fine and pre-built into the code. Now, as you can see, the next one for us is 57. The reason for that is because from there on, I manually copy and pasted and edited the file because there's nothing that comes in after that. And when we hit day 56, we realize, holy shit, there's no horde coming. So... We did day 57 to check, and then from then on, you can see we coded in 63, 70, 77, 84. We stopped at 100. I'll have to go in and edit it from there. But literally, all you're going to want to do, so like if we were to edit day 63, let's go ahead and take out day 63. Oh, we need we need to get day all together. So let's take out that code all together. So what you would want to do is on your day 49, the last one that you have access to, oh man, I meant to take out 57. Let me do that. Let me take out 57. Here we go. So all you have to do is grab the exact copy. So in this instance, we're gonna copy day 49 because that's the latest horde. We're going to copy that bad boy. Just hit enter like you would in a Word document and paste in that line of code. Now, you can, you'll want to line up the days just to keep the coding looking correct because the days should all be lined up. But now, all you want to do is go to value. This value is the day that it'll come in on. So ours is set to 57, but now that we've hit that, we would want to change it to 56. So that's the next day that should come after 49, day 56, is seven days later, and we are set so that a horde will come. Now, if you want to make it harder, you don't want it to, you know, you'll notice these numbers go up over time. So what we want to do is bump this to maybe 30, which is the total alive, which means how many zombies are running at you at one time. And the total per wave, which is the total that come at you. So there's 30 alive, and every time you kill one, another one comes until this number is depleted. They're basically reinforcements. So we'll boost that to 350. And you can see looking down, all I did is literally... 
copy and paste that code and then edit the value of the day, the value of the zombies in the horde, and the zombies per wave. Or I guess technically the zombies coming at you at once and the zombies per wave. You can make these values anything that you would like. However, do be bear in mind on a server or in situations like that, not everybody can load a lot of zombies. They are they can be rough on your CPU and things like that. But you can edit. We alternated. We found that there was Zombie Wasteland Night 2 and Zombie Wasteland Night without the two. We alternated those just to make the zombie hordes different. There's also just Zombies Night and things like that. Some different ones. But just so you guys are aware, that's uh, the general coding. All you should have to do is copy and paste that day right below it. You can see it just keeps going like it was. Copy their format and keep it exactly the same format. But edit the day value, which is right there the total alive value to make more that run at you at once, and the total per wave value to mean the waves will go on longer. One last thing to bear in mind is that if it goes on for too long, they'll stop running because you'll get into daytime. For example, on our day 63 horde, with 400 in the wave and 40 running at us once, we barely cleared it by the day, like by the time daylight hit and they started walking. Anyway, I really hope this helped you guys. It helped us get those hordes running correctly. And you can edit lots of things in these XML files. These are the only things we've wanted to edit so far. Because we're playing a vanilla server. We just wanted to keep the hordes coming. So anyway guys, I really hope this has helped. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Stop by the live stream sometime, which I always post in the description. We've been playing a server. We're coming up on, I think, day 70 next. I was the main horde. But anyway, guys, I always appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. Leave the like, leave the comment, and we'll see you in the next video.